Welcome to the channel No Need Teacher. Please subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn what are integers. In the previous videos, we have already learned what are natural numbers and whole numbers. And please do check it out when you have already when you haven't seen it already. And in this video, we are going to learn what are integers with definition, examples, and question and answers. Okay, what is the definition of integers? The combination of all positive numbers and negative numbers including 0. The combination of all positive numbers and negative numbers including 0. And the rule is that we count. The numbers should be like maybe the positive numbers, the negative numbers and 0 should be like the numbers that we count. Okay, they said these numbers include 0. Okay, first we write 0. And they also said these numbers include positive numbers. So, what are the positive numbers that we counted first? When we, we start counting anything by starting 1. So, 1, 2, 3 and we go on. And they said these also include negative numbers. So, they will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And they said that we count. Okay, where do we count 0? When we don't have anything, we say 0. And when we are asked to count anything, we start from 1, 2, 3. So, these are integers by the rule that we count. So, we count 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. But where do we count this negative? We don't count by this is minus 1, minus 2. Okay. Where do we count these negative numbers? These are when we count temperatures. When we count the temperatures, these negative numbers are used like minus 1 degree Celsius, minus 10 degree Celsius. So, these negative numbers are also used to count. So, these are what we call as integers, these numbers. The combination of all positive numbers and negative numbers including 0 that we count. Like, it will start from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, like, now we are going to write the examples. It will start by minus 3, minus 2. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And these are all denoted by Z. The integers are denoted by Z. So we write minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And they said the things that we count. And we can't count anything like 4 by 5 or 6 by 5. These are all the parts that not are totally count. These are all the parts. So, these, these fractions doesn't include integers. And also the same for decimal numbers like 0 0.3, 0 0.6, like that. These are also not the things we count. This is 0 0.6 and we also don't count. This is 4, 4 by 5, 6 by 5. So, these doesn't include in integers. The fractions and decimals doesn't include integers because we can't count them totally. And we say we don't say 4 by 5, 6 by 4, 0 0.3, 0 0.6. Okay, let's summarize. Integers are the numbers, the combination of all positive numbers and negative numbers, including 0 that we count are called integers. And examples are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And integers doesn't include decimal numbers and fractions. And minus like negative numbers are used to count for temperature. Okay, let's go into quotients. And the first question is, is minus 20 an integer? And we have also seen all the negative numbers that we count. Like we are, can also count minus 20 for temperature. So, it is also an integer. And E is 11 by 3. And we have already said that fractions and decimals are not included in integers. So, 11 by 3 are any, any numbers like fractions or doesn't include integers. So, it is no. And, all, and that is also the same for decimals. Decimals also doesn't include integers like 0 0.34, 0 0.64. So, these are also doesn't include integers. So, the answer is no. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and share and like for more videos. Thank you.